Hello guys, so this week I'm going to talk about the different ways you can run TypeScript with Node.js. So running TypeScript is usually simple, but whenever you want to set it up with Node.js, there's always a lot of steps you need to take to make sure everything works well. Because there's a lot of tooling that you need that is always available on the front end, like a hot module reloading where if you change a file, the browser refreshes and so forth. You don't have that in Node.js, so you have to use uh, some tooling to stitch all those things together. So we we'll start with the first way to run uh, TypeScript uh, on the server and that is uh, by using uh, the TypeScript dependency in conjunction with uh, Nodemon. So how does this setup work? So let's say you want to run our index.ts file here in our uh, terminal. So we have two scripts set up here. We have the build script and the start script. So the function of uh, TypeScript here is to transpile our types from uh, TypeScript to JavaScript. So if we want to transpile our index.ts file here, we run the build script. So let's uh, go into our TSC directory. So to run our file, we run npm run build, which will run uh, the TSC command, which will transpile our file. So once this command completes, it will generate an uh, index.js file here with the TypeScript transpiled to JavaScript. But this hasn't actually run our code here, right? So to see the output, we run the build and then maybe run node index.js in our terminal. So this works uh, for this simple case. But imagine you had a lot of files and folders and you want to start an express server, for example. You want one command to be able to start up your server uh, and transpile. And also you want your changes to be watched as you edit them. But now with this setup of using Nodemon and TSC, the biggest uh, disadvantage of this is you have to run two separate terminals. So you want to have a terminal that runs uh, Nodemon that uh, say instead of uh, running your file directly, we can use Nodemon to auto reload the file on changes. So let's use the npm start command to uh, run Nodemon here. So any changes on our index.js file will restart here. But now index.js file is generated by running the build. That's why you need a separate terminal here where you run uh, the npm run build command. But then again, you want npm run build to rerun the build every time uh, index.ts uh, file changes, right? So you want to run this in watch mode, right? So you want to say something like uh, TSC watch uh, our file here. So if we run npm run build here, it will run TSC in watch mode. Now, you have a watcher here watching uh, the JavaScript file and you have a separate watcher here watching the TypeScript file. So if we make changes to our TypeScript file, say change uh, the name here to say John and then we save the file. TypeScript will compile our changes, save the file, um, generate the index.js file and then Nodemon will realize that uh, index.js file has changed and then show the changes. So this setup works but now it is uh, uh, a bit troublesome because you now have to start two terminals and you're running uh, like two separate processes here, one watching separate files. If you have lots of files, then the process will become slower. So is there a better way to do this? Yes. So apart from uh, using TSC directly at Nodemon, you can also go the TS node way, right? So let's go uh, to the TS node folder here. So let's see how I've set up our application here. So TS node here does uh, something similar to what we are doing there. It has a build and a start and a dev script here. So our dev script runs a node mode on our index.ts file here. And then we have a start script that starts the app, say in production mode, and a build that generates the index.js file that has been built, right? So what you are interested in our dev setup here. We want to be able to start our app and then reload it on changes, uh, all without having to go through the process of setting up two separate terminals, right? So for that, I've added the TS node as a dependency, and then you also have node mode and also TypeScript. So Trace Node is a pretty cool library that also wants to bridge that gap when setting up TypeScript projects on the server. So it makes it easier to run TypeScript on the Node server. But the special thing about it is it runs the TypeScript files directly. So it skips that compile step we had earlier where we had to convert the TypeScript to JavaScript and then execute the JavaScript to be able to see uh, the changes. So here we are sort of executing the TypeScript uh, directly. So to set 
it up with Nodemon. I have a Nodemon to JSON file here, so which is like a, a Nodemon configuration file. So we are telling it watch for all the changes in the SRC folder. I watch uh, for TypeScript files, and then for the TypeScript files, run TS node uh, to compile or transpile this code. So with that configuration, you can just run Nodemon and then our file, and everything should work. So here, uh, let me just close this extra terminal here. So here we just run npm run dev right to start the dev server so this starts uh the nodemon server here right so let's try to make changes in our index.ts file here so if we change uh the name here for example changes in that should restart our terminal so now we are having one terminal that is running typescript converting it to javascript and then giving us our output directly so our setup is getting way better right so there's also an option i wanted to highlight here let's say you want to load um, environment variables in our app with TS node. So uh, the most popular choice for this is to use something like uh, .env to load uh, the environment variables, right? So all we need to do is uh, install uh, the .env uh, executable here. And then when running the nodemon executable here, we can tell it to use uh, .env uh, config to load environment variables without changing our code. So with this, when we start uh, our app here with the npm run dev, we are able to read uh, values from our .env file here. So like here, we have set the app name to TS node, and then in our file here, when you are reading process.env.app name, we can read it uh, directly. So this is just an extra feature uh, of our nodemon that you can use to set up environment variables right so let's go to the third method of uh, setting up your app and which is uh, my favorite that is using uh, tsx so let's go to the tsx folder so uh, where is the tsx folder we have it here so let's look at the package json file so if you notice something about this is now we have less dependencies that we had from the start so we only have one dependency here that is tsx so and also there's no any type script configuration here we don't have the ts config or anything like that we just install tsx and then we point it to a typescript file and then to run the file we can just run our npm run dev command there and it will run our file in watch mode you can make our changes to our file here and all your changes will be reflected on the terminal here we haven't configured anything that's why this is uh, like the better of the three choices I have highlighted. And then another thing is uh, loading the environment variables. So with the TSX, you don't have to install uh, an extra dependency to manage environment variables. You just have to pass an end file a configuration here next to the TSX command like that. We tell it to watch for the .end file. And uh, if we restart our TSX server here, we are able to read values from the environment variable. So no extra dependencies. So if you want to set up TypeScript uh, or Node, this is always the go-to method I use. But with all that, we also have a bonus method. If you don't want to install anything, you just want to run TypeScript files directly, you can use Burn. Burn doesn't need any configurations. It comes with the TypeScript uh, support inbuilt. So you can just run Burn src uh, index.ts and it will run your file. No dependencies no configuration required so all these are depending on your level of comfort or your level of current setup a lot of people haven't moved to burn a lot of people uh, are using a ts node in their server a lot of people have the node mode setup so you can use any of these four methods uh, to run uh, typescript files and also there's another bonus here so currently it's uh, experimental so let's switch to uh, node 22 so we can run via node command uh, using the experimental uh, strip types flag where we can point it to our index.ts file and it will be able to run it without any dependencies. Although this is still experimental, in future node will be able to run TypeScript. So all these setup steps you have been going through are going to be a thing of the past but not everyone is going to move to 2016 but not everyone is going to move to node 22 uh, soon. So if you are considering running TypeScript in node, I hope I've uh, given you a few pointers on what you can do on uh, what tools you can use and uh, how you can do it so thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next uh, one bye